You're watching KARK4 News. Telling the stories that matter to Arkansas for 60 years. We are your local election headquarters. Only a handful of runoffs tonight, but some hotly contested races to say the least. Here to break it all down for us, GOP strategist Bill Vickery, Democratic strategist Jessica Deloach. Guys, um, we got to our runoff. We got through it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if there are a lot of surprises at this point, but let's talk about Attorney General. Yeah. We've got um, Rutledge now going towards Steele. What's the makeup here? But first, let's talk about the money. Yeah. The money involved. I, 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 I got to tell you, I, I think it's one of the more impressive things in Arkansas political history in the last decade or so to see Leslie Rutledge win a primary runoff in the manner with which she did, mm. considering the torrent of sort of sinister out of state money that was spent against her. I, and I don't think this is an exaggeration to say this. I think she's the toughest politician in Arkansas right now, and she's a very formidable candidate, a woman running for attorney general in Arkansas in the fall. Uh, and she's proven that she's not to be messed with. I, she's a very, very formidable candidate. How do we head towards the fall, Jessica? She's going to have a really hard time uh, dropping away from this extremist position she's placed herself in. Arkansas voters, I mean, there's a long history of Arkansas voters supporting very moderate people to represent them in the Attorney General's office. The Attorney General's office is it's worth more and does more than what we've seen, these these talking points uh, about, you know, abortion and, and stand your ground laws. It, it represents the state in lawsuits. Mm -hmm. It protects consumers. And she's going to have to back away from a lot of this language she's been using to appeal to independent voters or else they're not going to support her. Completely what? disagree. She is a major factor as a Republican woman running in the fall. The state has shifted dramatically. What we've seen tonight is that the conservative parts of the state have become more conservative and other parts of the states that were moderate or liberal have become conservative. So I, I just think in her showing in the way she won and not backing down, you know, every 10 or 12 years or so, somebody comes along that wins that you don't think they will and then they stick around, they win again and then they become more formidable. Uh, that was my that was Mike Huckabee a long time ago. Uh, I, I just think she's a she is a and a godsend for Republicans. <laughs> breaking with ground, women. breaking ground. Uh, uh, first time a woman is running for the office. So I mean, that's right. But but seriously, Arkansas voters n find an attorney general in recent political history past that isn't moderate. I mean, good luck finding someone that's They've all that's been extreme. Democrats. That's, right that's now, part of the problem. Extremist. Exactly. Arkansas voters I mean, vote for Democrats because Democrats handle that office appropriately. They don't hijack the message of the office. Well, I, I, step back and talk I, about something else that, that uh, potentially impacted this evening, and that's the private option, something we've talked about you know, at length. And now, mm. the, the Senate race, this could change things, or it does change things with the victory tonight. Yeah, I, look, I think there is a, there's very much a split. What, what you see happening now inside the Republican Party used to happen inside the Democratic Party. All the action is happening inside Republican primaries and now primary runoffs, which mm. is why you see the race tonight in north central Arkansas between Scott Flippo and John Burris having such an impact on what we do from a, a state standpoint in terms of policy. So, um, I, like I said, I think areas of the state that are concerned Conservative became more conservative tonight. Uh, other areas uh, that were maybe moderate or liberal are now conservative. Jess, you're as well. smiling over there. Yeah, I, I mean. I think that the private option, it's not as endangered as some people would like for us to think. Look, if the Republican Party wants to go ahead and find a way to kick what will be over 200,000 people off their insurance, fine, so be it. And explain yourselves after you do it. What was the vote count? Was it nine? You mentioned nine. Yeah, you did nine, nine no votes in the state Senate blocks any sort of appropriation. And right. so I think that's kind of the key factor. And now what I think you see with the win tonight is nine avowed no votes looking forward to the uh, legislative session in 2015. You guys ready for the summer? Oh, I th yeah. look, I, this is exciting. <laughs> I think we haven't seen a, an, an Arkansas political year like this in 50 years. And uh, uh, I don't think we'll we won't take a break during the summer, right. I promise you that. That's all, all eyes on this and do your homework yes. without a doubt, guys. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. you can catch Bill and Jessica with the Political Plays of the Week every Friday morning on KAK4 Today. You can also get all of tonight's election results online at ArkansasMatters.com.